Hey there, friends. Today is our 17th story on the Jesse tree. We are getting closer and closer to the mystery of Christmas. Yesterday, we heard about how the prophet named Samuel was given the special task of choosing a new king. And with God's help, Samuel chose probably the most unexpected one of Jesse's sons to be this great new king, the young shepherd boy named David. In today's story, David continues to do the unexpected when he, as a small young boy, takes on a great warrior believed to even be a giant. This is the story of David and Goliath. God helps David defeat a giant. The story of David and Goliath. The Israelites were at war with the Philistines, again, whose leader was a giant named Goliath. Send one man to fight me, he roared. If he loses, the Israelites will be our slaves forever. The Israelites were terrified. No one could beat Goliath. David's father had sent him to take food to his brothers who were in the army. And when David heard Goliath's challenge, he said, I will fight him. Everyone laughed. You are just a boy, said King Saul, and he is a great warrior. I am only a shepherd, said David. But whenever a lion took a lamb from my father's flock, I chased it and rescued the lamb from its mouth. Since no one else was willing to fight, Saul gave David his sword and shield, but they were too heavy for him. So David took just five smooth stones from the river and his trusty slingshot. Come here, boy, Goliath said as he drew his sword. I'll slice you in half and leave you for the vultures. You come with a sword, David replied, but I come with God on my side. David put a stone in his sling, swung it around and let it fly. The stone struck Goliath on his forehead and the giant fell down dead. All the other Philistines gasped and ran away. Many years later, when David became king, the people remembered his bravery in fighting the giant. Dear God, help me to be brave. Trusting in God gave David courage when he needed it the most. And all it took to bring down this great giant was a slingshot and small stones. Let's put our ornament on the tree. Friends, let us pray. Loving and protecting God, help us to always trust you and to know that you are bigger than even our biggest fears. And God's people said, Amen. I'll see you later, friends.